Hello and welcome. This is a little plant that I videoed the other night while I was on a walk. And this is a video of me drawing, sponsored by Squarespace. Thank you. And doing some pencil drawing today. It's just what I've been feeling like lately. Also, let me tell you about this walk I went on because I have always liked walking during the evening and at night because it often feels like I'm in my own little world. Everyone's in their houses and I walk along. There's no one else in the on the road usually. Sometimes it's, it's scary if there is, but uh, I just walk and and the nice thing is that if there are cars coming, hopefully they have their headlights on so I can know they're coming from a long ways away. But anyways, today, actually the walk I'm talking about last night uh, was special because I was about to go to bed, but then the power went out and I was a little bit hesitant to go to bed without the ability to, to have my ceiling fan going, which is, I've tried sleeping without it on before and it's a struggle, okay? I know maybe I rely on it too much, but it's just, I just love having the ceiling fan going. Maybe it makes a tiny amount of noise or just the airflow or just having it be a little bit colder. I don't know, something about it. I was like, no, okay, I'll go for a walk and I'll take my camera with me. I have a Fujifilm X-Pro3. Lately, I've been having some fun taking pictures with it, especially at night when I can just point it at something, some area really anything outside where it's completely dark or I can't really even see anything with my bare eyes and then set it to a long exposure, like maybe five, 10, 20 seconds and then see what kind of picture it takes after it slowly absorbs all the light in that direction. And it looks really cool because the lighting uh, from whatever ambient light sources are out there is so weird and eerie sometimes. Whether it's just from, you know, it depends if the moon is out or if there's a street light nearby or just weird light bouncing around from like the the light pollution in the sky, If it depending on the sky conditions, if it's cloudy or I don't know where all the light comes from. Who knows? Anyways, I've just been really enjoying experimenting with photography that way. Also lately, sometimes I've been putting myself in the pictures by not only using the long exposure, but using this, the 10 second self timer, which is sometimes it doesn't feel like enough. I have to run to get in the picture. Uh, but if I'm not in the picture for the whole time, then it's, then it, if I run and stand still, uh, it, it can look like a, um, it looks like I'm kind of a ghost because I'm kind of see-through, which is cool. I don't really, maybe you know, maybe you understand what I'm saying. I don't really know how to explain it other than that. But um, anyways, the other night the power went off and it, all the power was out for like the whole neighborhood for like an hour and a half as I was walking around. And this was very surreal. But I'll give you the details on that in a second. On Squarespace, they have more than ever new and amazing flexible website templates, which you should go check out, see which one scratches your itch. They have this thing now called Fluid Engine for designing your websites with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop, or you can do it on your phone. So get your website set up just the way you want, maybe an online store, or if you wanna sell in person, you can use the Squarespace app on your phone with a square reader and then it'll automatically keep track of all your orders and inventory and customer data and update it automatically. Plus they have custom merch services now and maybe set up a special members only area if you want a little touch of the exclusive on there. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter draws for 10% off your first website or domain. So here I was out on a walk with the whole neighborhood, which had lost power. And I didn't realize how loud um, a neighborhood can be even late at night, even with the power on. Because with the power off, it felt completely different. First of all, really the only lights that were left were all of those little uh, like solar powered little lawn lights that people put like along the sides of their their uh, side, little sidewalks and stuff sometimes, you know what I'm talking about? 
I think a couple people maybe had battery powered night lights on in rooms, but mostly it was just dark and also far more quiet than I had ever imagined. Uh, I, I didn't realize how much noise, just like the ambient sounds of, I don't know, probably air conditioners and who knows what other random electrical things are just on all the time, all night. And you just walk along and you think, wow, this is a peaceful night. But I never realized how much more peaceful it could be. Obviously, I know it could be more peaceful if I went out in the middle of nowhere where there were no houses or people. But sometimes when you go out in the middle of nowhere, it feels very not peaceful because, I don't know, if it's one of those seasons or years when there's like a bunch of cicadas or crickets or frogs, I mean, it's peaceful in its own way, but it's kind of an uproar in its own way too. Sometimes those insects and animals can, it's almost deafening sometimes, but I mean, it's still nice. I'm not trying to put down the chorus of frogs and crickets that can uh, sing out into the night, but also it, it really, it really felt like I was in one of the, some post-apocalyptic game that I had been playing whenever I play those games because all of the houses really seem to start getting swallowed up by the trees because usually the houses have all these glowing windows and seem to have a life of their own. But it was this overcast day with, with this overcast night with no moon and all the shapes of the houses and trees just kind of merged together. And I was just walking along. And at first, usually when I'm walking along at night, I like to imagine all the cozy little people tucked away into their beds, just snoring and snoozing and, you know, being cozy. But then I started imagining, what if I was the only one here? What if there wasn't anyone else? Which was a totally different feeling because there really was no evidence that there was anyone else anywhere. All the way up and down all of the streets, silent, quiet, no lights. It was a very weird feeling. Also very relaxing. I think we should have maybe maybe one night a week, maybe one night a month where we just turn out all, all the power just so I can walk around and get that feeling some more. I wouldn't mind. I would like it, actually. Anyways, so I walked around for like an hour and a half taking pictures. Um, just of like random stuff. Plants. Cars. I went down by the... Ironically or not, I went down by the this um, power one of those power relay stations, whatever it's called, which is basically to me like one of those big giant weird, it's a big giant public sculpture, which obviously does have a utilitarian nature to it. It does serve a purpose, but to me, since I don't understand the purpose, it's just beautiful and it looks really cool. Just all these crazy lines and shapes put together. There's a lot of cool rhythm. There's a lot of strong lines there. And it's just there behind a chain link fence. And I was taking these pictures through the chain link fence at 2, 2.30, 3 a.m. in the morning. And I thought for sure a cop might stop because haven't people been, haven't people been like targeting power stations to attack them or something? And maybe that's why the power went off in the first place. And I was like, maybe this isn't a good time to be taking photos of a power relay station. Anyways, nothing bad happened. I got cool photos. I posted them on Instagram and... Everything was fine. It was good. It was a good night. And as soon as I got home, the power came back on. So it's almost like it was just for me. All right. Good night, everyone. See you later. Take care. All right. Goodbye.